how to get pregnant faster so there are basically three points which need to be discussed in the faster pregnancy so first is the egg quality second is the sperm quality and third is the uterus which is responsible for your pregnancy so today we are going to talk about the egg quality so how to improve your egg quality it's a big question and it comes to many people's mind and uh, people who are already like on the other side of the age barrier they come to us that ma'am please let us go towards the younger side but that is not possible it is not a miracle you have to work on it every female who is working on it they are able to retain their egg quality till a much much older age so first and foremost let us talk about some diseases which lead to deteriorating of egg quality the first biggest killer for the egg quality is the pcod polycystic ovarian disease you all must have heard a lot about it and i have already talked about it in a video you can see that video on my channels and see to it that how you can curb it or how you can control pcod secondly is endometriosis endometriosis also results in a lot of bad egg quality and uh, many patients who have got endometriosis they land up with us using donor eggs and if we go with their own eggs also then we have only hardly two or three eggs during the ivf cycle so for that also you can see my video in which i have talked about endometriosis and how to control the endometriosis now coming up to lifestyle changes so there are big do's and don'ts about what you should do and what you shouldn't do so first coming to what you shouldn't do shouldn't do is you should avoid more of junk foods i think that's a big thing for all the girls who are listening to it and all the females who are like office going females because they are so much dependent on the canteen food so please avoid that if still you have to take it so please don't take all the refined foods that you are having all the junk foods that you are having just avoid it because all the refined thing the refined carbs that go in your body they just don't get processed and that leads you to go towards pcod and all kind of hormonal disorders plus it causes a lot of obesity so please 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 avoid it secondly all the alcohol that you are taking in your system it's not going to flush out it's going to be there and it's going to decrease your egg reserve so alcohol is a big no cigarette is a big no for all the females out there please stop smoking because it is very essential if you want to retain your egg quality these three four things are big no's for all the females so this is a take home message for all you people thirdly avoid infections multiple infections and fourthly then what you should do what you should do means you should exercise daily at least half an hour of brisk walking is a must if you can't do it for 7 days at least you do it for 5 days a week that is very essential secondly whatever you are eating you have to just think that whatever you are eating it is going to be in your system only it is not going to flush out if it's not going to flush out then better eat proper food proper food means you have to eat more of green leafy vegetables high fiber diet you go for more broccolis and more spinach and all that things and go for products that have got more lycopene in it like you are taking lot of tomatoes watermelons all these stuff they are going to help you in your egg capacity so if you follow all these tricks these are very small things that you need to do for the change in your lifestyle but you please do follow it and surely it's going to reap results for you and your amh levels that is the levels that show your egg reserve that are going to be there in your body for long so please follow all these these are small small tips that are take home messages